From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? He'll try again, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from a yard out, and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Motherfucker wouldn't stop for me, son of a bitch. And I missed it, of course. Yeah, I had to hit X three times for a stop. Wow. No <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> ah, fuck me running. Now he's back out there yeah, I almost missed it again. Maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. <laughs> now a play fake, Rodgers. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety Cam Chancellor. What a start defensively. Uh, you, your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. They run with Thomas, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Oh, shit, dude. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Damn it, I wasn't trying to roll that far out game, but okay. Sweat in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. Looking to throw, Henry. To the right side and complete to Thomas. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. <laughs> Sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Now a throw here to his running back. Touchdown! A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air as the Bears push further out in front. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. 
And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Jack Youngblood. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. The job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Rodgers now to throw. And Look at that wall. There you complete. go. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive. That threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And oh, good play, good play, good play. Good play. Right behind me, good play. Down here <clears throat> on third and long. Some guys just simply have it. And Randy Moss is one of those guys. His big playability, once again, on display right there. That's what he's known for. He averaged 15.6 yards per reception during his playing days. Highest career yards per catch average for any player with 900 or more receptions. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. To throw is Rodgers. Let's it fly. Oh, fuck, you got me deep. I don't know where my coverage was when I'm play over the top there, but okay. Randall Cobb. I'm going to do it right there. And the Browns are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Kevin Stefanski going to leave the offense out to go for two. Rodgers will throw for it. Oh, I'm playing past me. I didn't they move backwards, but okay. So they <sighs> Come on, you're fucking serious, man. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Returnable here for Hester. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it to 26. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with 25 seconds to go, we'll, we'll see how they want to play this. First down, Henry. He'll get this one to Patrick. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Henry drops it underneath to Thomas. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they are into field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This a 43-yard attempt. 
And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that pushes the lead to eight points. They've doubled them up. It's 16 to eight. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Oh, did the Bears get it? They did. Chicago football. <laughs> Well, they just scored, they got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. A final shot before break, Henry. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's in for the touchdown. Oh, let's go. Final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense, not give up another touchdown. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Let's go. Oh, let's go. It's nothing. Sorry, honey. How you like that one, Jimmy? You like this brother is about ready to play heads up? Fuck it. I swear to that, defense. Bad at TD. Yeah, you like that touchdown thing that have, didn't you? <laughs> I just won two games in a row. How the fuck would I still need them in a head to head game? I won two in a fucking row. That was a big win, boy. 